Alrighty guys, so now that we understand the actual data flow, then we're gonna go ahead and test it. We're gonna press, um, yeah, I'm gonna open up my terminal over here on the bottom. And uh, let's see, I wanna go into my backend. And if everything, here's my admin backend here. If everything works correctly, something should get hit on the backend. Get API slash user 200, okay, interesting. Update moderation is not defined. Okay, we need to actually update moderation. Wait, does it give us the line over there? Let's see, line 202 within our settings. Let's see what happened here. Index, okay, perfect. Okay, toggle approval settings. Oh, update moderation hmm, is not defined. Well, what did we actually import in there? Uh, Let's see, comment moderation, set comment moderation, ah, set moderation, you know what, we need to call this update moderation. It'll, oh, it's always good if you have similar function names all over, okay. Uh, let's see, so that's it within here. I'm um, gonna go into, okay, set moderation, you know what, we should call this update. Moderation, everywhere else it's called update, and yeah, that'll, Definitely make your life easier if you actually stay consistent with your naming and also with the variable names. Like make sure if, if you're passing a specific variable from the front end to the back end, like it always helps if it's the same variable name. I do my best to try to stay consistent about it because it makes stuff much easier and makes stuff faster also. The less you get bogged down in the nitty gritty, usually the cleaner you know, the, fast, the faster the development will run. Okay, cool, so now that we've done that, let's just make sure everything is good, cool. Let's run it again, press that button, go back in here, beautiful. Update moderation function ran in controller. That's, in, that's coming from our admin backend, so that's awesome. It means everything is working. The only question is, what's, what's my rec.body back there? So let's, uh, I don't even need to update my front end at this point, uh, but I need to think about what data I'm passing, okay. Uh, so let's go into backend routes, update moderation. There it is. Shop.find1. Okay. Update moderation. Okay. Let's do. Okay. Console.log. Right. Rec.body in update moderation func is rec.body. Okay, I believe that the server automatically restarts. I don't need to update my, uh, wait a second, if data.error, okay, this is important. Cannot read property error of undefined, okay? Probably because I, because the server got restarted or something like that. Let's go back in there, make sure all is good. Um, and now, if we do have, right, if we do verify that data is coming in cleanly, um, uh, then we'll be able to save the data. Meanwhile, while, that, while that's loading, let's have a look at our, our update moderation. Update, oh, not in here. I wanna look at it over here. Update, update moderation. All right, so it's, let's just think about the, uh, the data that we're passing in from our settings, right? We're saying let new settings equals post moderation, which is the opposite of what post moderation is now. Comment moderation is the opposite of what comment moderation is now, right? It's just toggling the setting. And that's the new setting. And this is actually our HTTP request, which is imported from our actions folder. And it's saying, send that data to the back end. The props is pretty much like all the data about the given shop, like its URL, you know, like a unique identifier so that we know which, uh, which record to update in the database and the new settings is what the setting should be. And then, and make that HTTP request to the back end. When you hear back from the back end, then do this stuff over here. Okay. So over here, let's click, just let him post and look in here. Okay, rec.body and update moderation function, post moderation is false and comment moderation is false. Mm. Ah, okay, okay. Uh, this, is, this is good because um, uh, we know that everything is initialized as true, so we need to re rethink this over here. Um, let's see. And we need, to, we need to make 
make the new settings depending on, on what content type is. Okay, so if content type, content type we said is, is it equ either equals, um, right, comment or the other one. So hold on a second. Let's take this. Command share. Okay. Control X. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's pretty good. All right, good enough. Fine. If else. Okay. If content type equals comment. So like this is saying, what does the user want to update? His comments or his or his posts? It's uh, so we need to say, if content type equals comment. Okay. At this point, we just hmm, post moderation and comment moderation. Ah, you know, we don't even need to do it like this. We can just do it like that. Because in ES6 JavaScript, you don't even need that synonymous as, as doing this. You don't need, you don't need uh, to have the name of the variable that automatically, right, passes both the key, key and value. Okay, let's see. Our, everything is running good over here. Let's look at our front end. Good. Okay, hopefully that, that will actually work. Let's refresh it. So what we did there is we just update the state the moment that that button is clicked. But it might not be fast enough, but we can double check. Um, there might be a better way to handle that. Let's, let's think about this for a second here. Mm, let new settings equals because every time that you update the state within a Next.js or React component, it refreshes the entire page. So maybe it doesn't make sense to refresh the state at that point. Yeah, I don't think it does, but just in case, let's do just let him post and see what happens. Okay. Ah, see, post moderation is true, common moderation is true. Okay, you know what, I'm gonna leave this in because it's an important point that you should only update the state once we hear back from the database, all right? Technically, one of them should be true and one of them should be false. All right, so let's have a look over here. Let's open it back up. Uh, let's see. Okay. Um, we need to try to get the opposite here. Okay. Set comment moderation. All right, you know what? Let's just let's just do a, a simple new variable over here. Let post boolean and whatever. There's always a cleaner way to do it. Uh, post. Uh, okay, you know what? Po let post boolean. Okay, we need to initialize two new variables just within this function. Let post boolean equals equals what? Um, whatever, let's just, um, <laughs> equals true, you know, yeah. By default, it's, it's always going to equal true, whatever. Let comment boolean equals true, okay. Okay. Ah, you know what? Let's just equal that to to whatever is is happening within the state. Let's so let's pull the current state before we even run it. We're going to do something called destructuring over here. We're going to say, right? Uh, let's have it here. Post moderation and all right. So we know that these are the values that are coming from our state, right? Let blank post moderation and comment moderation equals this dot state. Pull it off state before we even send it. And fine. Uh, you know what? Okay. These are the two values that we're taking. We're going to set those as right local variables over here. And we say if it's a comment, then comment let comment moderation equals the opposite of what comment moderation is currently. Okay, and let's see if that works. And then if it's a post moderation, then make it the, let's just copy that. If the value that, right, that wants to be updated is the post, so let 
let post moderation equals the opposite of what post moderation is currently. Post moderation, right? Post moderation. And then let these be the new settings and then update the state over here. Uh, console.log, whatever. Console.log is the data. Okay, and you know what? I don't like this line over here, but whatever, that's fine. Console.log the data. Okay, guys, cool. So let's let's refresh this. Oh, brother. Let's see. That's an important point also. We did learn something about Next.js and React, which is, um, you know, just every time that the state gets updated, the, the component gets refreshed. So you shouldn't necessarily, you know, you have to be really careful about how you do these things. All right, one second. Let's see, just let him post. If I click that, let's go in here and I go, ah, cannot read property state of undefined. Okay, perfect. Uh, let post moderation. Uh, hmm. Okay. Oh yeah. You, maybe we don't even need. Maybe we don't need to pull it off state then. This dot state. Um, okay. Let comment moderation. Uh, hmm. We can't pull that off state. Okay. So you know what? Forget about it. Let uh, let's just do let post boolean. We just need two two globals over here. Post boolean equals whatever true by default, and the comment boolean equals true by default, right? And let post boolean okay. Post boolean, oops. This needs to be comment boolean. Ah, oh, crap. How do we pull state? Take state within a function there. Um, let's have a look at this here. Is that guys? All right, guys. I think actually what we're going to do is we don't even need to pull it off state. These are already globals, right? So this, this state over here is already globals. We can just leave it as is, post moderation and that. And hopefully everything else will just remain the same. And let's refresh over here. Double check that everything is good here. Uh, and I'll just show you why. And you can see also within our update settings, um, see we have update. These, the function, these variables over here are all directly from state, CSS code and all that other stuff. So we actually don't even need to, uh, to, to destructure that off of state. We can just use state over here, over here. Ah, wait a second. It might not be the best practice to, to use, to use that there. But okay, hope, let's see if it works. All right. I mean, if it works, it works, right? Okay. Just let him post. Hmm. Okay. Something happened. Okay. I think I see what happened. Post moderation equals. Post moderation is read only. Okay. Interesting. So state variables are actually read only. We do need to create some new variables here. Comment, okay, schnikes. Okay, oops, comment boolean. All right, guys, cool. Fine, so you know what, you live and learn. I haven't touched this code in a while, so that's kind of probably why, okay. If comment moderation, we just need two new variables, okay? We need let post boolean and the comment boolean Post boolean equals true. Okay. Yes, we do need this. It might be a little wordier, but that's okay. So we initialize two new functions, uh, two new variables within just within this function scope. Post boolean and comment boolean. What does post boolean equal? Okay. Comment. 
Hopefully this will work. And if not, we just have to keep plugging away. Right? You have to be incredibly, incredibly disciplined to just keep moving here. All right, so this is the post Boolean. We don't, have, we don't need the let over there. It's already been instanti instantiated, right? Uh, initialized, right? Comment Boolean and post moderation equals, equals post Boolean. And comment moderation is um, equals the comment Boolean. Yeah. All right. Let's see if it works. Refresh that. terminal on the left side, that's cool. So in React and Next.js, the state variables are really just meant uh, to update the DOM, right? And this is also, by the way, the whole thing behind functional programming, which is, um, you know, it doesn't like working with global variables and stuff like that. That's why these state variables are probably all const. Right, constants, okay. And run it, just let them post. Hey, it looks like something worked over there. Okay, rec that body and update moderation function. Post moderation is false. Okay, cool, when I press just let them post. And, and what if I click this? If I click this, then, let's see what happens. Okay, comment moderation. Ooh, rec that body and update moderation func Post moderation is true, but comment moderation is false. Every time that I set, click it, it says comment moderation false. When I click the comment, the moderate comments, every time I click moderate post toggle, it's gonna say post moderation is false. Okay, cool guys. So everything works pretty good. We still need to handle the rest of the logic, but this is pretty good because we've covered a lot of things in terms of Next.js, how to handle React uh, state, and um, it taught us that state, uh, state variables are constants, and it taught us that, um, uh, you know, uh, a good amount of things uh, about how we actually send that data back to the back end. Okay, again, we just initialized two new variables uh, that, that, with, that are within the scope of this function and we're gonna send it to the back end. We need to rethink this a little bit. Uh, so let's just take a break over here. If you have any questions on why things got messed up, uh, why things didn't work with the state and react, you can feel free to read up about that, about react state, why constants remain uh, and you know, why, why all the state variables are constants and yada yada and look into functional programming, maybe get a book on it. It's a very interesting paradigm. I personally am a big fan of it because it makes things uh, less, bug, uh, less buggy in the long term when you don't work with uh, globals. All right, guys? So feel free to reach out and I'll see you in the next video.